guess it's true I'm not good at a one-night stand But I still need love cause I'm just a man These nights never seem to go to plan I don't want you to leave, will you hold my hand? Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I
but we are going to face. Our lives will not be easy or perfect. I'm nervous too. <laughs> I would probably snooze my alarm clock at 5 a.m. over and over again. Well, I interrupt you while you're having sex. Well, I interrupt you while you're watching your favorite episode of Seinfeld for the 50th <laughs> but I promise you my everlasting devotion. Loyalty. Respect. Unconditional love for a lifetime. And sex whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I will always I promise I will be here for you. Be your best friend. Your best friend. Your family. Your love. Your everything. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. Paul has written his own too, but he don't want me to say it. So he's so, first off, it's going to be alright. We'll all be up soon. First off, I can't believe you exist. It boggles my mind. You're this beautiful Asian princess. Do you know how gorgeous you are? Every day I live in fear of someone asking, hey, what are you doing with this clown? <laughs> and this body? <laughs> and this body? Oh my. <laughs> Back off, gentles. <laughs> Back off. But that's why I'm attracted to you. It's not the reason I love you. You're physically beautiful, but the most beautiful part of you is your soul. In this world filled with low life, shallow, selfish people, baby girl, you shine. You truly have one of the best hearts I've ever encountered. When you love, you truly love. And you're honest, which is hard for a lot of people to handle. But I love you. And you know you never have to be fake with me, I never have to be faithful to you. I really can't believe you exist. And I found you. A beautiful Asian girl who loves old school R&B <laughs> as much as I do. It's incredible. And the thing that truly seals the deal is that you're funny. You make me laugh, and that's a hard thing to do. And I love to make you laugh. You're my greatest audience. And I am constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, trying to be funny. And my brain is always in a state of, ooh, you know what would be funny? And a lot of people can't always handle that. When I make fun of someone, which I do a lot, you never judge me or tell me that it's not nice. You just laugh. Because you like it. You always tell me I say the things that you think. We're one hell of a team. And lastly, the greatest thing about you is that you put up with me. I am not the easiest person to live with. Come up. I'm not easy. I get annoyed easily. My patience is thin. A lot of things in this world make me angry. But you are wonderful. You are patient. Understanding human beings.
You should get the gold medal for putting up with all my crap. <laughs> I love you for loving me. And now that we stand here, baby girl, we're about to spend the rest of our lives together, I make this vow to you. It's something I've always told you. I've always got your back. I don't care what happens in the future, what negative energy comes our way. I've always got your back. And I know you've got mine. I love you now and always in front. We're gathered here in the presence of one another to bear witness to the joining of my favorite nephew, Paul Nadrin, to the bonds of marriage, which is an honorable relationship founded in the very nature of our being. Example of happiness and welfare for all mankind. <laughs> this relationship is not to be entered into on a bad or lightly, but soberly and discreetly. How will you take Nazarene to be your part in your life, love and honor, faith and tune, to live with her and cherish her in the bonds of marriage? I do. Nazarene, right? <laughs> Miss Kimberly Adamant, 
escorted by best man, Mr. Billy West. Miss Look Gadru, escorted by best man, Mr. Jeremy Brown. Make some noise, y'all. Come on now. Come on, I know you got more than that. Come on, y'all. Now, without further ado, I need everybody standing up in the building. We want to introduce the bride and groom. All right, can you all clear the floor for the bride and groom's first dance? Thank you. Give him a little space. <laughs> The father, the stepfather of the bride, 
Mr. B. Paltzenor and the Bride Nazareth. Carrying on, like I mean, you know, it's 
the things we've done in really the time period we've known each other, man, like I wouldn't trade anything in the world for that. It's been a hell of a race. Then came Matt. Turned my boy around. Made him go from the irresponsible assholes that he's been the <laughs> majority of the time I've known him into a pretty good dude. I, I appreciate that. Best thing's ever happened. And do you guys raise your glasses? I give you the face. Base. Base. Cow base. <laughs> In Nazareth base. Alright, hey. now make some noise and stuff. Uh, can y'all hear me? Is this close enough? Yes. 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 Get up on it. Yeah, get a little closer, man. It's not gonna bite you. Raise it up. Hey. All right. Yeah. All right. Alright, well, what do I really say that hasn't been said? Um, after his vows, um, I was very impressed with that, Paul. Job well done. Um, we've been best friends for a long time. We're in the same family, but we're not necessarily related, as weird as that sounds. Um, I know we are, but we're not. But I obviously consider you a brother, cousin, best friend. Forgive me, I'm a sap. It's probably going to happen, so I'm trying not to let it take over, but it probably will. Bottom line is, I'm very proud of you. Um, congratulations. Nazareth, you're a beautiful woman. Y'all seem to make a good match, so congratulations. That's all I can say. All right, give a round of applause, guys. Everyone for coming. It was great that you were able to see this. It's a very loving couple. You can tell it's gonna last forever. I'm really, I'm really got it for you guys. Say, remember to be patient and talk to each other. Always talk. Make that eye contact. You got it forever. I, I wish y'all the best luck. And everyone, please drive home safely. Have a good one. And I've probably known Nazrin for close to 10 years. We ended up working together at a store one day, and we've been friends ever since. And I quickly learned what a great friend she is. Paul said it completely in his vows. I mean, she's kind, she's caring, she's funny, she's hardworking. She'll do anything for those that she cares about. And she's become really like my sister, not just my best friend. So. Um, I just wanted to say, I remember the first night that you guys met, we all went to Tobacco Company. Tobacco was Where? my favorite place in the world. <laughs> so us girls went out, they met, and at the end of the night, he was like, tell me about your friend. I mean, he was, I wouldn't say it's love at first sight, but we are here at their wedding today. <laughs> I was on it! <laughs> so, I'm just, I'm thrilled to be a part of your day, and I'm really grateful for you, and I wish you nothing but a life. Oh, <laughs> 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 